It's known as the mighty Limpopo River, but the dry riverbed signals drought. Small pockets of water are contaminated with cholera. On one side, Zimbabwe, an all but failed state. On the other, South Africa, the promised land for Zimbabweans fleeing hunger and poverty in their homeland. Hundreds cross into South Africa illegally every day, following well-worn paths through broken portions of the border fence. It's a treacherous journey without food and water in the searing heat. We come across two men emerging from the bush. Come across the, the Limpopo River. We climbed the uh, electrical fences uh, just to have uh, better living standards. And uh, uh, we are still <laughs> mom, my dad, and five sisters. And I'm the only son. So my dad is not working. I thought maybe if I can come here, have something better. I can supply them. And there are dangers besides the heat, roaming bandits called Magoma Goma. There's plenty of testimony among Zimbabwean refugees inside South Africa as to the kinds of dangers they've had to face at the hands of the so-called Magoma Goma. And the border area here is strewn with evidence of things that might have gone on. We can't be sure, of course, what happened here, but this is a woman's skirt ripped. And just a few meters on here, a pair of female shoes left in the dirt. Christina completed the journey in the last week, arriving in the South African border town of Messina. She traveled in a group of 75 people. The men who'd offered to help them cross the border turned out to be Magoma Goma. She was able to escape. They started to take our belongings and our money. Then there were four among them who started to rape a woman in front of her husband. Little is done to stop Magoma Goma. Policing on the Zimbabwe side is scarce. The South Africans have their hands full with the constant flow of illegal immigrants. Bandits on the border. Just another hard fact of Zimbabwean life. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Mosina.